We've seen all the different types of preparations throughout this weekend. Alex and Nikki has got her own unique style. Nikki, get ready. Absolutely. Three, number two, one athlete one, in the Heartland go. Division. Starting off on these laches. Going. Not choosing to link here, really taking her time and making sure of each lache. Yeah, that's she came... you, you know you have to at least get to the last obstacle, trying to gear up to beat the entire course. Yeah, if on this pace, if Nikki can beat the entire course, she will secure that top seeded placement in the elite female division. But she's got a few obstacles ahead of her coming into this balance beam. You can see the legs shaking yeah, as now wobbly. she gears up for the most difficult part of it. There we go, making her way through the Stegosaurus and just barely catching the edge of that Bosu ball as she moves on to this x to the Drop Chucks. Makes the Drop Chucks. She's going to get out of there with a little under 40 seconds left. Well, you love to see our elites navigating the balance beam with no troubles as I say that. Came in too hot. I we have not seen that at all this week. And taking out the bollards during the process. Nikki Zink is out with an early exit. You can just see her rolling there and almost taking out some of the audience members, Alex. <laughs> we kick off the proceedings with Nikki Zink, and I did some research during the break. She coaches at a gym called Olympia Ninja City in Manchester, Missouri, in the St. Louis area. Four-minute time limit for our ladies. Absolutely. Plenty of time on the clock here. Well, just enough to get it done. I was about to say that Nikki, of course, has an incredible resume, made it to the Worlds this year, placing 18th and is ranked number one in the Heartland region. So an individual who has such an incredible resume and has the potential to go far in this competition. But only time will tell as we see her on the inclined cliffs doing relatively well so far. This is an obstacle that has been surprisingly difficult for previous divisions, but making Nikki's making it look easy as she looks for that dismount platform. Yeah, you know, we've seen a number of top athletes have to burn up one of their retries oh. there as she makes her way across oh, the cliffhanger. It. Yeah, it's even caused, I remember, two of our team male athletes to come undone completely using both their retries and, and, and uh, exiting early. So that's right. an obstacle that has been deceptively difficult for our ninjas as we now come into the jumping spider. One minute gone, three to go. You can see as the day grows weary, the shadows from the window emerging onto that solid wall. But Nikki Zink looking to put up a lights out run with 2.43 still on the clock, reaching obstacle five of 10. Now, the roller closer to Flying Scorer is not something that's been physically demanding for our athletes, but it's very technically demanding. As Nikki grabs and struggles to get that distance there, you have to have a perfect lineup and swing in order to get the distance here. There's not much momentum going into this. Three, two, one, push it up. We've seen exactly what these numbers need to do. Heads behind, or legs behind your head, and then that kick right there at the bottom. Perfect technique on the second try. Nikki is looking strong so far. This is a great run, Alex. Ooh, Ooh careful. You do, you do not want, obviously, to undershoot that platform because then you, you get eliminated. You also don't want to overshoot that platform because that's the same platform as the start of Eyeglass Lane, which means that she would end up using up one of her retries as she goes over to the Eyeglass, trying for the magic trick. Yeah, we've seen this magic trick come out in the teen division, and it looks to be the strategy that Nikki is trying to employ into her run here. But is struggling to get the hook on. This eyeglass has taken out so many competitors today, and it looks like she's going to just avoid it and go straight for the hook. Right, Nikki, yeah, see, Alex, how far of a lache that is. Yeah, I th really think she's going to need to hook in Three, either do two, the technique. One that was on the yeah. rules video, or be able to get that magic trick a little bit more in the wrists, I think. Well, Alex, she is out of retries now, so hopefully she can learn from her first attempt and give it another go. It'll be interesting to see what approach she takes. Being slightly more tired now, she's going back to the standard approach. You just can't get that hook in, Alex. And, and that <laughs> is what does her in. Nikki Zing's out. hopes of a buzzer have disappeared, but still a tremendous run. Do you, you see what he did there? Magic, magic, magic. 
No, no, no I didn't take us through this run. But I'm glad you brought it up. Nikki can be super proud of that run, of course, using both of her retries to their full advantage here. She learned through Obstacle 5 on the roller coaster, the Flying Squirrel, and had a few little slip ups throughout, but the eyeglass is proving to be more brutal today than almost any other obstacle.